everyone, and welcome. Welcome to the Stocks Will Show QQQ Market Review. The QQQs didn't make a new high yesterday. They're going to they're do it today. It's only 2 o'clock. They're almost in the afternoon, and they're pennies away from making another high, which we could have done any day in the last two days. The funny thing is this morning, I need to start taping myself every morning. That's what I need to start doing. I need to start taping myself in the pre-market because whatever stuff I see in the pre-market on the day is just like, you know, it's a combination really of everything I know and a heightened intuition that, like today, today I said, I said, don't be surprised if the market, don't be surprised if the market rallies over and makes a new high today in this gap, even though we're gapping down and it's a, it's a stinky gap to go long, I said, and it's a stinky gap to short. And I said, this isn't really any gap at all. I said, but don't be surprised if we actually go over and make a new high today. And I don't, I cannot even put into words how I saw that. I actually don't even know how I saw it, but I saw it. So today was a full on six cents intuition to see that there was a possibility the market can do this. And then, you know, obviously it's doing it. It wasn't, it was it really, it, if you just looked at the gap this morning, I mean, it could have gone either way actually at one point this morning, but in the pre-market this morning, I saw that and I thought, I just, I just, it's just so much strength I see in the market. It's just so much strength I see in the market. I mean, this is exactly what I've been talking about all along, that the market's higher. And I said, the market's going to make a new high before the end of October. We're going to close October crazy, crazy strong compared to the way that we started it. That is happening right now. Tomorrow is the last day of October and we're going to make a new high in the market in the QQQs before the end of this month. And November is going to be unbelievably bullish. I mean unbelievably bullish. And the shorts have not covered here yet in this market. So let's take a look. So you see that people short this market here. They love to short double triple tops. People love to short resistance. Why does it make any sense? Why? Because it doesn't. It just is not a strategy. A strategy is the reason you're doing something. It's an event. And then the entry is possibly an entry on resistance. But there's no reason to do this here. There's no reason to do this here at all. None whatsoever. And we talked about this yesterday in the room. There's something out there called novice gaps that somebody made up the name. Whoever made up that name. Just like I made up the name The Golden Gap. Somebody made up the name the Novice Gap. It's just, you know, somebody just made it up as a name to call something. But it really isn't a strategy. It's a play. And, it, and many places out there teach Novice Gaps, but they're not a strategy with basis of an event. It's a play. It's a play into what? In the case of the market here, people are looking at yesterday's gap in the market as novice meaning that the market rallied, 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 and then was going to flip around and do a reversal. Now, I'm just talking about this here because I think this is a good time to talk about it in reference to the market. When people look at novice gaps, they look at something that's running in one direction, whether up or down, and then continuing in the next direction in a gap, and then reversing. But that doesn't work as a strategy because it isn't one. For a lot of reasons, okay, I think I'm going to talk about that actually in the webinar Monday. Let me just write this down. Uh, but anyways, that's how people were seeing this market here. Okay, so they were seeing that the market would come in possibly in reverse into a novice effect in the last two days or so. It did not happen. It didn't play out that way. Market didn't fall yesterday. Market's not falling today. Market didn't fall the day. It gapped up into the novice gap type look, even though it had the rally. So this rallied up for, you know, 17 days or whatever it was and didn't have a novice any day. The danger in doing novice gaps as a strategy, which it's not, is that you actually miss a real strategy that's going on, which is what? What I call a golden gap. What I call a golden gap, which is institutional uh, positioning that's coming into something like this market. So people think things can't keep going higher, wrong -o. People th can't think things can't keep going lower, wrong, okay? They can. That doesn't mean something goes in one direction forever, but it means it can keep going a lot longer than you think. A, a, a play and a resistance is just that, a play with no basis of strategy. Because there's multiple levels of resistance and support all over every chart in existence. How do you know which one to take the play in? You don't. 
you are looking for the strategy first, and then you find the setup within that strategy. And actually, I said this before, and it's, you know, I'm more convinced than ever that this is true. The longer, longer, longer I trade, now I'm, you know, I'm going to be trading seven years now to 2015. Seven years is a long time. But I don't think there's any strategy out there for day traders other than golden gaps, or basically they're professional gaps, or made for professionals, but it's institutional positioning. And what I call a golden gap because of the way that I rate it. Uh, because not all professional gaps work. However, I did think the market had a potential to make a new high today, and you know it was really just me reading intuitively that this would happen. Because the gap today really didn't have any play in it. That's why you couldn't have been aggressive today to go long or short, short anything. So there was really no gap play in the market today. You couldn't have taken an entry long even in this market this morning. You had to let the market settle out, figure out what's going to do in the day. And then you could have bought the market late, late morning, early afternoon here. And this is playing out, and the market will run into close here. Two hours left in the close, market's going to run up into the close market. Target is 115. We're obviously going to hit that before, way before 4 o'clock. Next target's 101, 101.25, 101.25. Market could run a dollar from here in the next two hours because the market's going to run up into the close. Market's going to run up into the close and make a new high into the close today, into the last calendar day of the month, which is tomorrow, on October 31st. And a week ago, I said, what was the day? Yeah, it was the 20th. A week ago, I said in here, we're going to still probably close in October and make a new high. And that was a gutsy call to make in there because we only had five days left. We only had, you know, like five days left to do this in here. But that's how it's playing out. So again, market will rally into the close today into 4 o'clock, two hours left. First target's 150, then 101, then 101.25. Tomorrow, I don't know where we gap in the morning. It depends really where we close today, if we get to the target or not. But the shorts haven't covered in this market yet. That's really obvious to me. All the buying's coming in. That's how the market's being supported on a crap Ola gap today. I mean, this is a crap Ola gap. What, seeing what I saw this morning in the pre-market, that there was a possibility the market could make a new high today and hold in this crap, crappy gap, told me something that is, you know, again, the conviction, the conviction, the conviction, the conviction. To have a crap gap like this hold today in this market, to rally like this and make a new high in this bar tier today, the way that we're doing this, is gives me more conviction in the strength and the continuation of the market. So... It's just another reason to notice how strong we are. All these days rallying up. A crappy gap down today. We don't break, we don't fall on it. We actually rally and hold in the middle of no man's land. And we do it. And we're going to make a new high in that crappy gap down today and run. So very, very, very strong market. And it's playing out as expected, as I called two months ago. October is going to close really strong of the over a new high. I said in September, four to six months are going to be crazy bullish. We're going to run up in November like nobody's business and have a huge bullish month. So we'll have to see exactly where we close today for tomorrow morning's gap. But it's really important to know why you're doing something. And this idea of novice gaps, I'm going to have to talk about in a webinar. It just doesn't work. It's not a strategy. It's a play. It's a play if you want to do it. But if you are doing a novice gap in something that I, for example, like like two days ago in the market, like you're, you're trying to take this as a novice bullish gap in here, you want to short this, then it's a bullish gap, but you say it's novice, you want to short it, and I'm going to go long it. And I'm going long something like that. Why? Because I'm reading the institutions are going to go long it. And you get run over like a Mack truck, and you take a bunch of different entries and then trying to short it into this level resistance and this level resistance and this level resistance. And why do you think then the bar ends up looking like this in the day? And never looks back in power trends. Traders kept trying to short this in here. And traders have not covered here yet. And it'll be real interesting to see where we run up to today when we head on over that area. People will be scrambling. But not everyone will cover full on in there. People will give it a cushion over the area. 101 is probably one of the next numbers or so. People will not give it up. And then shorts will come in at another point later trying to push it down again. Sometime, I don't know where. I won't until I see it. But this market's just going to keep running. There's nothing wrong with it. It's beautiful. It's fabulous. It never did anything bearish. And I'm really going to read shorts, so I know that. I mean, of all the things that I do, it's like 
it, it, for, for, for people out there to say the market was crashing and I see weakness with such authenticity before it even sets up or happens, for me to say that it's not true weakness and that the market isn't breaking and that in fact we're crazy, crazy strong, not only are we not weak, we're strong, you know, it's, it's because I can read what weakness looks like, but I also can read what strength looks like too. I'm going to talk about some other things in the webinar as well. I'm just thinking about here in reference to these institutions. So I'm doing a webinar Monday if you want to come. Monday, 5.30 Eastern Time. If you want to come by, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you want more information. Not doing any videos tomorrow. Halloween, going to be a fantastic day. Have a great weekend, everyone. Enjoy yourselves. We'll see where the market closes tonight. I'll do a video Monday. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you'd like more information and want to sign up for the Golden Gap class, which is November 8th and 9th. Thanks, everybody. Have a good day.